Now welcome to this channel where we will be giving our Bunge update on waiting the happen for Biafran territory as the Islamic State, the Henta Mogbege. Release Mazinam the Kanu to not be like the Buhari who had personal hatred against Indibos. House of Representative Member Oj Tinumbu. Another update now say the Islamic State don't release over 300 and something. Boko Haram member, we don't buy their police officers, we don't buy their soldiers. Another update again now one kingpin of drugs for Taraba State. We did collect ransom from government, they release them. But a man we they ask for liberation of him people. When I detain him, not tossing and they spend 500 million. Nigerian zoo currency to carry and go court every time. <laughs> I will make now listen to these questions from Biafrans. We did the truth to Prime Minister. We will come giving her the full update. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, your Prime Minister, you for this wonderful uh, uh, advice oh, no, to us and what, is, what you have been going through. This is not easy. And we can, all can see how much effort and we ask ourselves, do you really have enough nice, nice sleep? Because to be able to handle this degree of pressure and what we are facing with the Nigeria is it's just, it's just a spiritual. It is a spiritual thing and it's not ordinary human being that can handle it. And that is why it will take us to our next point in this very program now. Um, I am now allowed to speak as a rep, Belgium rep. I wanted to encourage our people. I want to encourage our people with this, what you have done here. Uh, you're giving me more uh, platitude to um, to address our people, to really encourage the people who are still th thinking, sitting on the fence, to know that what you are doing is not ordinary. I have uh, three code, that prophetic code dimensions that I want to uh, discuss with our people. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna take much of your time. Um, Mazin Namdekano, some time ago, before he was uh, renditioned from Kenya, did made a comment that. Uh, a new dimension. He said, go and listen to Masi Simon Ewa. He has brought a new dimension to this very uh, struggle. And uh, people did not understand that, what that means. And by the time he said it, most people do, do not know who you, were, who you are until they, they started gradually listening to you. And today that prophecy has come to pass. So our people, they go to church. Our people, they try to say they, they have a lot of knowledge, but they do not see when a prophecy was given. So I am here with my knowledge about prophetic and uh, who is involved in the spiritual things. I want to let our people understand who you follow. The reason why I want to raise this point, I want to discuss this very particular issue, a particular dimension that Nassim Nandekano talked about that is for free today before them, and most of them do not understand it, is because we are still facing resistance from most people from uh, 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 Biafrans living abroad or some of them home. It is not appropriate that you continue to live in blindness. That is why I want to put you through. The Muslim man kind of made that dimension. When he made that comment, it was prophecy. He said, go and listen to Master Simon Equa. He, he brought another dimension. So if you look at it, that dimension is what we are in today. We are in that dimension right now as we are speaking. So that, that dimension is not something you read in the page of a book or something that is in the Bible. They think of the Bible is, is in heaven. No, it's here. So. Please, you have to make up your mind and know who you follow. I'm going to give you the story of what happened. Because through the derogatory names they were giving our prime minister, that is how you know it. If he deciphered that this is prophetic, what he's doing is a call. He's not just taking it upon himself to do what he's doing. If it's ordinarily that you are going to do what he's doing, he would have by now quit because there's so much pressure on him. Yes. Let me give you an example of what happened in the Bible. There was a certain man called Jesse in the Bible. This man has sons. And there was a prophet that was sent to him. That prophet Samuel was sent to him to go and anoint uh, his, one of his children. They want to be the king to lead Israel because Israel was under attack by Philistines. So when the man got to the, uh, to the house of Jesse, he brought all his children out. These children, he brought the big ones, very tall ones. The prophet would tell him, not this one. 
He told him, is it all your children? Because I brought about seven of them. He said, is it all your children? He said, no, there's one little one that is in the, that is, uh, is taking, tending the, the, the sheep in the field. While they were talking, uh, the, David came in. He said, this is the one. Okay, the prophet, God spoke to him that this is the one. He had put oil on his head. Now, when he put oil in his head, then he left. What happened from that moment? That little person, I'm going to connect this. To follow me, follow me what I'm saying, because I, I want to connect the door so that you can understand who the God have put in our place, in the place, in the person of Mercy, Simon Echo. So what happened? When the, he went to the, the field to, uh, to give food to the brothers because they were facing Israelites, they were uh, defending uh, the Israelites against, uh, the, uh, Israel against the Palestines. So when he got there, and then he looked at Goliath, he said, this man, you are the one that is threatening the, the uh, God's choosing people. Today, God will give you into my hand and I will cut off your head. Now, do you know how I'm coming to the point, the cross of this very story? Follow me. The cross of it is that he was considered, David was considered uh, a short man. And what did the people who didn't understand who Simon, Master Simon Eber is, they call him, what do they call him? Most of you know, I don't want to mention it, the derogatory name. So now let me bring you home to what I'm trying to achieve here. There's another prophet in uh, Jerusalem, not an able man. He said that God showed him a vision. This vision was a puppy, that this puppy was moving. And then he, when the puppy looked back, he saw animals with uh, uh, fishers, uh, uh, great animals like lions and leopards and so many things following him. That this little puppy started developing features of a wild animal. Most people misplaced that very prophecy, but I understand who the prophecy was talking about and his man, his name on Now, they call him the name because of the name they call him, the derogatory name they call him. For, for to, to just drive this thing home, they call him Mahaboda, but actually he's not Mahaboda. Do you know why they call they call David Mahaboda? The same name they gave to him. David was standing against Goliath, who was a tall man. And now Master Simon Eba is standing against Nigeria, who they call giant of Africa. So you see the, the prophecy. So for most of us who derive things through the prophetic code, this is what has happened. Master Simon Eba is described as with the name, the derogatory name they give King David. Now, this should tell you that who is to get us Biafra is Marzi, Simon, Edward. so you have to make up your mind and know who you follow. My story is driving home to you that the time has arrived. Biafra is no more a dream, it is a reality. I want to go straight now to one of the significance of what also lead for you to believe what I'm saying. During the time of David being the king, David was still running for his life. Like Mas Samuel Eber now in Finland, Nigerian government is sending messages. They want to bring him home. They want to persecute. They want to kill him. He's in Finland. So is some uh, um, King David running and hiding in the cage. Do you know what happened? Most people that were disgruntled moved and went to David's camp and told David, we want to serve under you. Now, try and make connection with the autopilot, how he started. The disgruntled people like me, who was in the old house, moved on and said, no, there's, a, there's an anointing here. We moved to the, the David of our time, which is Master Simon Eva. And now we are here. Look at what is going on. The old house is collapsing. And as I'm talking to you, uh, the, like what happened to King Saul, King Saul went down. Those DOS and men, most men that are there, they didn't have the vision. They don't have no members anymore. I'm saying this to remind most of us here that what where you are is what God, where God wants you to be. You are on the right track. So do not look back because Biafra is here with us. The brief achievement I was I had the opportunity to be in a, in a, in a Finland. I witnessed what happened. Uh, Prophet Igilla said that those animals, those big animals you see that were following the puppy, let me tell you what it is. What it was was 
right now, you will see engineers, you see doctors, professors. I could count with my finger professors I met in, uh, in, in Finland. We are le not less than 10 people that I can identify by myself. And doctors, the old IPOB, the old DOS, I'm sorry to tell you this, uh, there's no such thing. Because everybody was not clear. They, they didn't define what they were looking for. What Mazin Namdekan was the focus. When he was out of the picture, no, these guys could not do anything tangible. So, not taking your time much, I want to briefly hint what this Biafran government in exile, briefly, the things I can note by myself, what they have achieved. So that you can know where you belong. If you are really looking for Biafra, if you're not looking to just to improve your life by trying to sabotage what you are doing by being an informant to the zoo government, then you have to know that who you follow now is who God led, is, is using to lead us to Biafra land. Now, brief achievement. We have a charter. A charter has been written. And that charter is given to us. It's open for amendment. That charter is a constitution. That's how a nation for, is formed. And another thing is, we have our ID card that is ongoing now. This is very, very authentic, very secure. When you log in there, it's even more authentic than most countries in the world. Most African countries cannot even compare to the kind of ID card system we are going in now. Yes. That is the second achievement. There are so many of them, but I'm going to mention a few that I can I lay my hands on just for the purpose of this uh, invent, invent. Now we have BLA Angel, Garden Biafra Land. You have briefly you heard what our prime minister said. How we are neutralizing the zoo before they used to come in our place. They kill at Mbok. They kill in Yemene. Nobody challenges them. And before now, as in Nam, the colonel left when they formed the ESN. You know what he said? He said this kind of attitude of coming to kill in Biafra like, is no longer obtainable. But what happened when Mazin Man the Kano left? I was inside that old. Thing, I ask a question. Why are you people not taking what Namdekano Nam said? And uh, that was one of the things that made me them to throw me out. But it's another story for a story for another day. So let me go back to the we have now have a, a Biafra Republic government in exile and de facto government in homeland. These are all functioning and working. If you need information, they give it to you. So if you are looking for Biafra, how do you measure your, what, that kind of uh, what you want? Is it not the people you, they, when you contact them, they give you information, and they, this is where we are going. They give you update you on what they are achieving for Biafra. Another thing is we have representatives across the globe at this moment, which I am one of them, and uh, there is no going back about it. I have decided to sacrifice myself, my life, to ensure that Biafra come following mercy. Simon Eber, Mazin Nam the Colonel. If you have not made that conscious decision to put yourself as a sacrificial lamb, you, that means you are just uh, sitting on the fence still. You may be here, but you're sitting on the fence. So I'm encouraging you, please, make every effort to ensure that you know who you follow. And use because you do not need to deceive yourself. I'm not, I'm not a young man anymore. I've been living in this country for the past 30 years. So I made my decisions. There's no two ways about it. So make up your mind and know who you follow. I'm encouraging you, please, ensure that you are supporting this movement. Not only supporting it with your life, because that is the only way we can get Biafra. And also, summarily, I want to encourage all of us to be our brother's keep to the restoration of this Biafra. Do not make sure of your brother's errors or mistakes. Find his virtues and encourage him. Like our master Simon Eckhart said yesterday when we were having um, fundraising. He said those people that they are in the old uh, house and come in, encourage them. Do not leave them. Do not uh, disparage, do not say, hey. do not tell them that you're not uh, welcome. Welcome them. And make sure that you you make them to understand why that we are, we are moving as Biafras. Let there be love. So that is the one one thing I want you to take home concerning this struggle, because a lot of people are still. If you talk to the old house, 
they are so wicked in their heart that they do not see any good in her coming from us anymore. And you can see the one that he even announced my name, who is making me famous now. They call him uh, Ikenga. I don't know where he's coming from. The one that he came in the openly and the and the and the this the, this own IPOB, all the IPOB when he was going to Nigeria. So he goes there, they give him security. After he come back now, he said, want to come back now. He's now calling my name, making me famous. Well, I thank him for making me famous. Now, I have come to the conclusion of this, my uh, encouragement words. I, I am not known for, for great uh, internet speech, but I'm known for sacrificial devotion internally and prayer, spiritual prayer in the spirit we engage. So any, anywhere you want to do your own, if you're growing up, they do a gun more, they are gone more because what we are facing is enormous. It's just something you see with ordinary eye, but there, there's, there's war in the, in, the, in the utmost floor of heaven concerning Biafra. God bless BROG, i.e. Biafra Republic Government in exile. God bless Biafrans. God bless Mazi Simon Eva. God bless Belgium. God bless Finland. And God bless Mazi Namdekano. God bless Biafrans, home and abroad. We are all going home soon. Thank you very much. Ndibai, Ndewo. 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 And um, on that note, on that note, we will proceed to the next item of our, 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 this uh, event, the visitation of our, our PM and the uh, Biafran government in exile to Belgium. We, I'm calling on now on our, I am supporting, please, let me not uh, finish without uh, doing the right thing. I'm supporting this very particular today event, visitation of our prime minister with 500 uh, euros. Oh. Thank you. And, um, Thank you. Yes, now welcome from back from that update. On the case of this person where they asked for the release of Mazenam, the can we name now Honorable Obi Oguche from Umaya Federal Constituency of Abia State. In that, remember, say now LP candidates, I won't be say they know the right thing to do, but they don't want to. Um, they, they play games. All this one way you they talk, we know say all of now the prime minister wanted list because now he came all of now they play. Because if they suppose don't release Maznam the canoe, the court don't talk to me, they release them. They, they release criminals and Boko Haram members. We don't buy people. On the case of IPOB, now reverse. Whenever IPOB member, during the time of Wasob and the rest, and when Madison, they can't lead people out. Now Nigerian soldiers, they buy us. We know they buy anybody. We know they touch anybody life. Madison, they can Always they do that and I carry flag and say we want Biafra. Now only waiting that they talk be that. But now they buy now now they release people with the buy people. Hmm. For this matter, me I'm gonna rest my case now. Thank you.